Hey guys, welcome to our video tutorial about concepts of derivatives and their applications. Limit definition of derivatives. The derivative of function is the f prime defined by f prime of x is equal to limit of f times the quantity of x plus h minus f of x over h as h approaches the zero. Here are the examples of the derivatives using limit process. We will find the derivative of the limit f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 3. Since the formula of limit of derivative is limit of f quantity of x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches to 0. So we will substitute f prime of x is equal to limit of 2 quantity of x plus h squared minus quantity of x plus h minus 3 minus quantity of 2x squared minus x minus 3 all over h as h approaches to 0. Then expand x plus h squared. Then the answer is 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus x minus h minus 3 minus 2x squared plus x plus 3 all over h as h approaches to 0. Combine like terms. Limit of 4xh plus 2h squared minus h over h as h approaches to 0. Limit of 4xh plus 2h squared minus h over h as h approaches to 0. Then cancel h. Limit of 4x plus 2h minus 1 as h approaches to 0. So replace h to 0. So f of x plus 2 times 0 minus 1. So the answer is f prime of x is equal to 4x minus 1. So our given is f of f of x equals square root of 3x plus 1. So we have to substitute it, which is f prime of x equals limit of square root of 3, 3 quantity x plus h plus 1 minus our the orig, or, original given, which is square root of 3x plus 1 over h as h approaches to 0. So we have to we have to copy our given then multiply it with the conjugate. So our conjugate is 3x plus 3h plus 1 plus square root of 3x plus 1 over square root of 3x plus 3h plus 1 plus square root of 3x plus 1. In order to um, conceal the radicals, we have to multiply our given into the conjugate. Then we will get equals limit of 3x plus 3h plus 1 minus 3x plus 1. Then cancel, cancel the radicals. So our remaining variable is 3h. We will have to copy the 3h, okay, which is equals limit of 3h over h square root of 3x plus 3h plus 1 plus square root of 3x plus 1 as h approaches to 0. Turn the h into 0. So limit, limit of 3 over square root of 3x plus 3 times 0 plus 1 plus square root of 3x plus 1 as h approaches to 0. So our answer is limit of 3 over square root of 3x plus 1 plus square root of 3x plus 1 then as h approaches to 0. So square root of 3x plus 1 plus square root of 3x plus 1 is 2 square root of 3x plus 1. So our final answer will be a prime of x equals 3 over 2 square root of 3x plus 1. We will get the derivative of this given using limit process. So the given is f of x equals 3 over x plus 1. And the first step is you have to substitute x into x plus h and you will get the limit of 3 over quantity of x plus h plus 1 minus 3 over x plus 1 over h as h equals to 0. And using the, the, the cross multiplication, you will have 3 over by 3 quantity of x plus 1 minus 3 times x plus quantity of x plus h plus 1 over as you can see there is quantity of x plus h plus 1 times x plus 1 because you have to multiply the denominator then distribute you will have limit of 3x plus 3 minus times quantity of 3x plus 3h plus 3 
then the denominator we will have x squared plus h uh, plus x h plus 2x plus h plus 1 then we're going to distribute the negative sign to this 3x plus 2h plus 3 then you will get the limit of 3x plus 3 minus 3x minus 3h minus 3 and you have to cancel out like terms in order to to get rid of the h you have to multiply it by 1 over h and you will have negative 3 over x squared plus h plus 2x plus h plus, plus 1 you have to substitute h into 0 because h is, h is, of course is 0 so next is get the limit of 3 over x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus h equals 0 and the final answer is f prime of x equals negative 3 over quantity of x plus 1 squared differentiation rule rule number one constant rule the derivative of constant is zero the examples of derivatives using rule number one this is called constant rule and the first example f of x equals 2 and f prime of x equals to 0 it's 0 because the derivative of constant is always 0 and the example number 2 f of x equals to 16 f prime of x equals to 0 number 2 power rule if a function is defined by f of x is equal to x where n then the derivative of f of x is given by f prime of x is equals to n times x raised to the power of n minus 1. Here are the derivatives using rule number 2. f of x equals to x to the power of 4. f prime of x equals bring down 4x and subtract the exponent by 1. And f prime of x equals 4x cubed. And the next example is f of x equals x cubed. f prime of x equals I'll bring down 3x and subtract exponent by 1. And the answer is f prime of x equals 3x squared. Rule number 3, constant times function. If c is a constant, then the derivative of c times f of x is equal to c times the derivative of f of x. So here are the examples using rule number 3. The constant multiple rule is f of x equals 2x to the power of 5. And f prime of x equals 2, 2 times 5, bring down 5, and x subtract the exponent by 1. And the final answer is f prime of x equals 10x power of 4. Rule number 4. Rule number 4, sum and or difference. If f of x is equal to h of x plus g of x, then f of x is equal to h prime of x plus g prime of x. So here are the examples using rule number 4. Difference rule. This is the example. f of x is equal to 2x minus 3x power of 4. So f prime of x is equal to 2 times bring down 1 x and the exponent is subtracted by 1 minus 3 times bring down 4 x and the exponent is subtracted by 1 so the answer is f prime of x is equals to 2 times 1 equals 2 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so this minus 12 x cube this is the final answer next is the sum rule f of x 5x squared plus 3x plus 8 next is f prime of x is equals to 5 times bring down 2x and the exponent is subtracted by 1 plus 3 times 1 x
the exponent is subtracted by 1 again and plus 0 because the constant is 0 so the final answer is f prime of x is equal to 5 times 2 equals 10 x plus 3 because 3 times 1 is 3 rule number 5 rule number 5 product rule given the function h of x is equals f of x times g of x its derivative is h prime of x is equals to f of x times g prime of x plus g, g of x times f of x or u derivative of v plus v derivative of u so here are the examples using rule number five so this is the problem f of x equals quantity 2x plus 1 quantity 3x plus 2 in order to solve this problem you need to know the formula which is u dv plus v du so u is equals to x plus 1 v equals 3x plus 2 the derivative u equals 2 derivative v equals 3 f prime of x equals 2x plus 1 times 3 plus 3x plus 2 times 2 then we multiply the 2x plus 1 times 3 and we get 6x plus 3 and we multiply the 3x plus 2 times 2 and we get 6x plus 4 and the final answer is f prime of x equals 12x plus 7 Rule number 6 or quotient proof the derivative of the quotient h of x is equal to f of x over g of x where f and g are both function of x or for the better understanding v derivative of u minus u derivative of v over v squared are the examples using rule number 6 the given is f of x equals 3 over t plus 1 we will use the quotient rule f of x equals t plus 1 is 0 minus the 3 1 over t plus 1 squared so we will multiply the t plus 1 and 0 and equal 0 then minus it to the 3 times 1 which is 3 then copy the d squared which is t plus 1 raised to the power of 2 f prime of x equals negative 3 over the quantity of t plus 1 squared negative 5x squared plus 10x squared over the quantity of x squared squared and we will plus the 5x squared and the 10x squared so since the 5x squared is negative so it will become a subtraction so 5x squared over x raised to the power of 4 is f prime of x is 5 over x squared chain rule chain rule if we define f of x is equal to f composed of g of x then derivative f of x is f prime of x is equal to f prime of g of x so f prime of x is equal to derivative of the outside function leaving the inside function alone times derivative of the inside function here are the examples using chain rule so the given is f of x equals 2x plus 1 we will use the chain rule process since the given is radical we will convert it to the exponent the quantity of 2x plus 1 raised to the power of 1 half then f prime of x equals we will copy the 
exponent, which is 1 half. Then, the quantity of 2x plus 1 raised to the power of 1 half minus 1. And let's find the derivative of 2x plus 1, which is 2. Copy the 1 half and the quantity of 2x plus 1 raised to the power of negative 1 half. Then the 2. The fourth line is 1 half, then convert it to the fraction and radical form equals 1 over square root of 2x plus 1, the 2. We will times the 1 times 2 equals 2 over 2 times the square root of 2x plus 1, which is 2 square root of 2x plus 1. We will cancel the 2 and then f prime of x equals 1 over square root of 2x plus 1. So you see that f of x is equal to the quantity of 10x squared minus 5 to the power of 2. So when solving this, you need to bring down 2, bring down the 10x squared minus 5 and here you need to bring down the 2 minus 1 and then 2 times 10 here and x so when you are done substitute the number so 2 2 times 10 so of 20 squared x squared minus 5 and 20 so the final answer is if f prime of x is equal to 400 x cubed minus 100 x so here is the final answer derivatives of the trigonometric functions in solving this function you need to understand these equations like derivative of sine x is equal to cos x and derivative of cos x is equal to negative sine x so here is the derivative tangent x is equal to second x and so on so this equation is called derivative of trigonometric function so our given is y equals 2 sine 10x plus 3 cosine pi x in order to get the answer we're going to use the chain rule method so we're going to copy the constant and find the derivative of sine which is cosine and copy the inside function and multiply all by the derivative of that inside function which is x so we're going to do that in the, sa the same here so copy the constant 3 and find the derivative of cosine which is negative sine and copy the inside function of pi x so this is our final answer 20 cosine 10x minus 3 pi sine pi x so it is the same method in the second equation that's all the higher order is a derivative of the derivative. So here are the examples using the higher order. So this equation is called the higher order. So this is our given f of x equals 5x raised to the power of 4 plus 3x cubed minus 8x. So this, this first line here is our first der derivative. So f of x equal, equals 20x cubed minus 6x minus 8. So as you can see, we use a power rule method. So that's why it's the 5 becomes 20 and the 3 becomes 6 and the 8x becomes 8. So this, are, this is our second derivative. So the 20 becomes 60x squared and uh, 8 is cancelled because it's constant so our final answer is 0 
derivatives can be applied in real life situations. So here are the examples of application of derivatives. So example okay. number one, the position of the particles given by the equation s plus c cubed minus 9 c squared plus 24 c, where t is measured in seconds. So a, find the velocity, and b, find the acceleration. So these are the given solutions in solving the acceleration in velocity. So A, in, sol in solving velocity, you need to copy the given equation. So S is plus T cubed minus 9T squared plus 24 T. And you need to de derive the given equation. So we get S prime of T is plus T P squared minus 18T plus 24. So that's our velocity. And second is acceleration. So in order to get the acceleration, we must copy the derivation of the equation. So we get S prime of T is plus 3T squared minus 18T plus 24. Then we need to derive it again. So we get the der second derivation of T is plus so 6T is plus 6T is minus 18. So example number two. Find two numbers the sum is 8 and its product is maximum. So sum is always equal to x plus y. So our sum is 80, so substitute 80, so we get 80 is equal to x plus y, then apply the subtraction property of equality, so add negative x on both sides. So we get 80 minus x plus y. Then product. Product is always equal to x times y. So p is equal to f. Substitute y, which is 80 minus x. Then, then multiply it, and then we get 80x minus x squared. And the derivative of 80x minus x squared is equal to p prime is equal to 80 minus 2x. So 80 minus 2x is equal to 0. Then add, apply addition of property of equality, then add 2x on both sides, then we get 80 is plus 2x, then divide divide both sides by 2, 80 divided by 2 is, is plus 40, so our x is plus 40. Next thing to do is to find y, y is plus 80 minus x, so substitute x plus 40, so 80 minus 40. So our final answer is plus to y is plus to 40. A rectangular plot of land will be bounded on a side by a river and on the other three sides by a fence. If you have 800 meters of fence, what is the largest area? Perimeter is equal to x plus 2y. 800 is equal to x plus 2y. 800 minus 2y is equal to x. A is equal to xy equals to 800 minus 2y times y. So, we distribute 800y minus 2y squared. So, a prime is equals to 800 minus 4y and 800 minus 4y is equals to 0. So, divide both sides to 4. So, 800 over 4 minus 4y over 4. Cancel 4. Then, the answer is y is equals to 200. X is equal to 800 minus 2Y. Because 800 minus 2 is 100. It's equal to 800 minus 400 and X is equal to 400. A is equal to XY. So X is 400 and Y is 200. So 400 meters and 200 meters is equal to A is equal to 80,000 meters squared. Did you learn something? If you did, comment down below. Thanks for watching.